You know, I've always wanted to make a game, but I never seem to have the time and all the projects I start, I don't finish. If only there was a solution for that. But wait, isn't making a game in 48 hours harder than making a game not in 48 hours? Not if you have a plan. Basically, the plan is a low poly horror game set in a cave. You'd play as a miner who got separated from his crew and needed to find a way out. I knew I wanted it to be claustrophobic like Iron Lung, but have similar graphics to It Steals. And thus, my cave game was born. So, on Saturday at 2 o'clock, I open a fresh new Unity project and- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Unity? Aren't they, like, bad? Look, I know all of the articles that have been coming out recently. Well, at this point, it's not recently. The reason is Unity is the only game engine I've ever used, and I'm sure as hell not learning Blender and a new game engine in 48 hours. So, back to the video. As I was saying, I opened up a new Unity project, and immediately closed it. Because I need a player model. And I thought, why not make my own? Alright, Blender. This can't be very hard. Um, okay. Is that a polygon in your pants? Or are you just happy to see me? Extend this out. Okay, scratch that. This is hard. <gasps> Wait a minute. I don't need a full body. I just need arms. <gasps> and this reference has a place for just an arm. <laughs> I'm saved. Okay, but it's coming together. Oh no. All right, you know what? Good enough. I'm happy with that. That whole recording was five hours. But once that was all said and done, I reopened Unity, made a bean, shortened it, put the arms on it, gave it a little animation. I, um, I don't even want to say how long that took. Clapped on a character controller, and thanks to a little help from my good friend Brackies, br Brakies, uh, and bing, bang, boom, you got a game. <laughs> well, okay, not really, but it was a good start. Now, I needed a cave. And originally, I was just going to use the asset store. But when I found this four minute tutorial on YouTube, I thought, how hard could it be? And it turns out, not that hard. It took me like 15 minutes. So if you ever need a low poly cave model for anything, I highly recommend this video. So thank you, Aqualude. Now you might have noticed, the game looks pretty bad. But if you want to know how to make a bad looking game look really good with minimal effort, old school graphics. Oh, this game looks like shit. No, no, no. It's just retro. 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 But, in all seriousness, I really do like the retro theme. So, after adding some lights and the retro filter, the game was actually coming together. I was really happy with how it looked at this point. It definitely had the atmosphere I was going for. But, it was past 2 in the morning and I was exhausted, so I decided that I'd start again on Sunday. <sighs> what a beautiful Sunday morning. At the bright early hours of 11 o'clock, I got back to work. I started making the only weapon of the game, the dynamite. I started by making a model in Blender, which in hindsight kind of looked like a candle, hopped into Unity, and gave it a cool explosion effect using Unity's particle system. Nope, 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 not my joke. And at this point, the coding got way, way easier because I've never worked in a 3D game. And it turns out scripting 3D movement is very different than scripting 2D movement. You have to worry about things like quaternion angles. I still don't know what that is. But at this point, I had a pretty good idea of how to script things in 3D. After all that was done, it was time to get started on the thing I've been dreading the most. The monster model. I'll let past me explain. Alright, now I kind of have an idea of what I want the monster to look like. I know I want something like those monsters from Kong Skull Island. They have kind of like a bone on their head and they only have two arms and a big tail, I feel like that would work really well for a cave because that's an issue I'm having is how to fit a monster. Now, I have a few sketches. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to show you. I just want to preface that I'm not an artist and I drew these while bored in class, but it'll kind of run you down my process of making this monster. Here we have version one. Um, I was really going for body <laughs> here. 
Uh, we're just gonna go past that. Version 2, I really like. I don't know why I like it so much. Something about it. Most of these are just heads, by the way. Versions 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7 to some extent, all suffer from a weird perspective issue that makes them kind of look like rats. I don't know. I, I don't love any of them. But version 8, I felt like I had hit something. All the other versions were trying to capture what I had made in version 2, and I really liked version 8. Now, I don't have the original paper I drew version 9 on, but I do have a picture of it, so I'll just put that on the screen. This is my template for this model. This is what my goal is. I know it's really just a head. I didn't do much for the body, but this is what I'm going for. So let's start and see how it turns out. Okay, the head, it's looking kind of okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> um, all right, this, this is not that bad. There we go. That, that's the finished head. I think it looks pretty good. I, I, uh, <laughs> uh, it doesn't look exactly how I pictured it in my mind. Now, time for the body. Oh my god, I have really messed up. Um, let's just connect all these back together. Oh my god, that's why it looks weird. The thumbs are on backwards. That's the only reason. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how to rig things. The arm was really simple, and even that I had trouble with. This is gonna be a nightmare. Oh no, why are the teeth moving? You know what? That, it's done. I tried learning how to texture with the arm, and I could not figure it out, and I don't, I am running out of time already. So I just put a flat material on stuff. I feel like if I put some texture, it might would look better, but I'm just kind of hoping that the pixelated and dark cave will block out most of the issues with this model but overall i'm i'm pretty happy with it i, I think it could have looked a lot worse <laughs> the monster model by far took the longest amount of time but now that it was done the game was almost finished first i remodeled the cave just to fix it up a bit and a lot of cave decorating it probably took me an hour to place every single rock in this cave now it was time to give the monster some ai all right, let's just open up a video. On our scene, we're gonna click window, AI, and navigation. And oh, so you just click one button. Um, so um, they just got rid of the feature or it was a plugin I didn't install. Either way, I didn't have time to find out. So unfortunately, I had to concede and go to sleep. Just kidding, what, you thought I was gonna give up? No, I hopped out of bed and worked for another hour until finally, it still didn't work. So all the attacks are scripted. The final day had arrived. The last major thing I needed to add was sound effects, which honestly wasn't as hard as I thought it'd be. I just scoured YouTube for all the random sound effects I needed, converted them to MP3s in a very safe and legal way, added them to Unity, and put them all over the game. The coding side of it also wasn't super hard. All right, how much time do I have left to add collectibles, signs, more animations? 30 minutes? Never mind. I made a quick little start menu and end screen and exported the game for the final time. Overall, the game's kind of bad. There were several things I wanted to add, like collectibles, signs, more animations, a real AI system, and even some lore, but I ran out of time. 
which is honestly a good thing because what most likely would have happened if I hadn't had a time limit is I would have kept working on this game until I got bored and tossed it out. But hey, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, maybe I'll add some of those things I talked about or just revamp the game entirely. I also thought about making it in VR because who doesn't want to sit in a cave in the dark in VR? But hey, if you enjoy this video, go watch the... I don't actually have another video. <laughs> this is the first video on my channel. So, um, subscribe. <laughs>